Hey, welcome, my name is Oli, and today we will check this and this, the Pulsar X2 and X2 Mini, the brand new and first ambidextrous wireless gaming mouse from Pulsar. I will do an unboxing of both mice and give my first impression on the specs and in some gameplay. In an upcoming video, I will do an in-depth review and give you my advice when to choose the regular size and when to choose the Mini. So first, let's get started with the unboxing. Both mice come in a similar box. The first impression is great. Inside you will find as usual manual, cable, adapter and the dongle. Both dongle has the name of the mouse written on it which help you to identify the right dongle. Regarding the specs, the regular one is approximately 4% bigger than the mini. So the mini is exactly a downscale from 4% compared to the regular one. The weight of the regular X2 is 55 grams and the weight of the Mini is 52 grams, so no big difference there. The weight distribution is good, well balanced on both mice. They both come with the same sensor, 3395 and KL8 switches. Let's make a sound check of the click and quality build. The sound of the right click is slightly different than the left click. A little bit pre-travel is also noticeable, but not so much. Where I see the biggest improvement compared to the X Lite are the sides buttons. They are now perfect on both mice. The scroll wheel feel also better, more control, like a better version of the G Pro X Super Lite scroll wheel. I only have a quality issue on the dongle of the Mini. You can hear that something is detached inside. Please, Mr. Pulsar, do a root cause analysis and implement an action at your plant or at your supplier to prevent this issue. But for the rest, the quality build is great. Out of the box, both mice have PTFE feeds. Glass feeds will probably be available soon, so as other colors. Actually, you can order the mouse only in the color black or white. Glass case from the X Lite V2 will not fit. Both mouse have now DPI button on the bottom, which is great. Please notice if you install the new software, disinstall first the old one from the X Lite before installing the new one. So let's move forward to my first impression of the shape and how it feels while playing. My first feeling is that the shape of the regular one reminds me a lot to the shape of the SteelSeries Aerox 3. The back of the mouse is identical. It has the same height and felt almost at the same point. So the same curvature at the back. However, the click fell lower on the Pulsar X2 and the Pulsar X2 is a bit wider. Both mice, mini and regular feel very good in the ends. I kind like the smooth surface. It's a bit similar to the G Pro Super Lite. It's hard now for me to say which size feels the best. As a first impression, I will say for fingertip grip the mini and for claw grip, the regular feel better for me. Claw grip and fingertip lover will appreciate the shape of those mice, but an in-depth review will follow. So that is my first impression of the Pulsar X2 and X2 Mini. Those mice are both amazing, probably until now the best release of this year. In an upcoming video, I will do an in-depth review on both sizes and find out which size to choose. So don't forget to subscribe in order to not miss this one. And thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.